you guys got to you got to start putting those parameters in place because it will give you something to hold you accountable to. Because if not, life kicks in. It's not like y'all just sitting around like life is happening. There's other stuff happening outside of ha- having this conversation. Right. And so once that other stuff kicks in slowly but surely, these kinds of things get pushed to the back burner. And it's just a natural thing. It happens organically because we're living a whole entire life. So that's why we got to be intentional about, about, about the follow through and setting yourself up for success by setting some parameters for you to be held accountable to. Because here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to continue to add things if we're not, if we're not dealing with the things, the, the things that we started with. Right. Because progressively, I'm going to be honest with you, and this is not to scare you. I'm just going to be honest with you. Progressively, these things, these conversations get more and more serious. So I'm trying to start with the things that we can kind of get a handle on. We can hash out like we did last week. Talk about why it's important. Talk about how it benefits the team. Talk about how each other can facilitate. And then be able to put these little things into play to build your reps up. So when we have the bigger conversations about, you know, more, more crucial emotional needs or where is the relationship going or how are we going to parent? Cause that's right in your face right now, those kinds of things. Right. So you want to get your reps up to be able to have those conversations a little bit more efficiently because they're not as tough. They don't feel as tough anymore because you're not starting there. You're starting here with creating a date night or dealing with, you know, some preliminary baby stuff or that, you know, that kind of thing. And helping each other to feel connected and helping each other to feel loved and appreciated and some things that you can really just knock out the park right now. But you got to be intentional about. So I'm going to push you to really dig in this week and be intentional about that, because here's the thing. I'm not saying this to be me. I'm not a mean guy. However, what you don't want to do is continue to be at the same part of the process every time we get together because what that's going to do for you eventually what that's going to do for you it's going to discourage you because once you begin to feel the positive effects of progress that's going to be the thing that motivates you to keep going so i'm so i want to push you this week to really kind of dig in around those three things because listen i'm gonna be honest there are three simple things I'm just going to call it how I see it. They're three sim- they are three simple things. You got to set up some things that you can hold yourself accountable to, but you got to be intentional about setting those things up. And then you got to be, you know, then it's about maturity and follow through. I'm going to keep it real simple for you. <clears throat> I'm going to keep it real simple for you. Just try. Just try doing the things that the other person wants. I mean, you, you don't got nothing to lose. At this point, you don't have nothing to lose. You don't have anything to lose by trying to figure out some ways to be connected. By beating her to the punch and she's expressed, you know, several. <clears throat> several instances. What makes her feel love? What makes her feel appreciated? That's not to say that doesn't have any responsibility in this. She most certainly does. And for both of you, just you don't have anything to lose by just having a conversation and just being vulnerable with each other and asking this question, what, what do you need from me? And then whatever the other person says, just be like, all right, I'm, you know what? I'm a, I'm a do it. You have to set yourself in a place where you're like, okay, from this moment on, this is the direction that we're moving in. And we're going to consistently do and say what needs to be done so that we continue to face this direction. Some of it is just like, man, I'm just going to do it and just reap the benefits. Just to book in this, going back to the beginning, I'm challenging you all this week to not come back to the next session saying that you have not worked through some of this stuff and that some actionable items have not been put in place and that some action has not been taken 
and you just gotta it's just about just just manning up and womaning up and just saying, listen, this is what we're going to do, man. This is the kind of relationship we want. How do we get to it? What do we have to stop doing? What do we have to stop saying? What do we need to start doing? What do we need to start saying? And just start doing and saying it, man. Don't overcomplicate it. Right now you're overcomplicating. You're picking at each other. You're trying to psychoanalyze each other. Just, just stop all that. Just don't overcomplicate it. Just do it. Do the stuff that's important to you. Make the time for the stuff that you need to make time for. Say the, say the things that you should be saying. Do the things that you should be doing. And start, you know, start rebuilding this thing in a way that's going to be beneficial for both. I need, I need you guys to start today figuring out what a game plan Next is. Next time. Let's have a conversation about how great that felt as opposed to what needs to be done.